So one of the interesting things about pens is that for every model, there's usually upgrade models and variant models based on that. So you find something you like, there's a lot of different ways you can enjoy it. And that's not only different colors, but different variations, materials, upgrades. It's essentially the same pen, but in different versions. In this video, I wanna talk through three of my favorite upgrade pens. First off, we'll start with this one. This is called the Pilot High Tech Point V7. And uh, basically this is the Japanese model of the Pilot Precise. And that comes in a V7, V5, even in some areas it's the V10. But the Japanese model is called the High Tech Point, comes in V7, V10, just like the rest. But it's a whole lot nicer than the other pens. So basically the uh, V7 comes in this really cool matte finish. As you can see here, it uh, has a really nice indicator gauge. So you can see how much ink is left. Has really nice silver here with a squared off clip. The clip is plastic uh, instead of metal, but I'm okay with that. Same writing tip, same sort of apparatus. And then this one, the really sleeper hit feature on this is that if you pull it open, it uses a uh, pilot ink cartridge. So you could refill this pen by using a pilot cartridge. This pulls right out and you could either fill it with uh, the V7 ink or you can uh, buy new cartridges and put them in here. So it turns this disposable rollerball into a really nice refillable rollerball. So any high tech point, I like the V7. There's also uh, my favorite is called the V10 grip. If you want something a little finer, then there's one called the V5. And there are a lot of variants on this pen. There's the V ball, the V cone, I think there's one. Uh, there's, there's a whole lot of them. So start off with the, this nice liquid roller ball called the Pilot High, and it's a confusing name, Tech Point. This is the V7. The uh, 0.5 millimeter version would be the V5. The 1.0 millimeter version would be the V10. Next upgrade pen is this right here. This one might be a little bit hard to catch on video. Uh, this is called the Fisher Space Pen. So that's the company, Fisher Space Pen. And it's called the B4. So that's like Brian 4. The Fisher Space Pen is famous for their astronaut pen, the shuttle pen that's called the AG7. That's the one that's wider at the top and tapers towards the bottom. There's also the C CH4, which is... Uh, a classic model and it's that's this pen but without this black grid finish a lot of people call this pen the ch4 grid which is not technically correct it's called the b4 and the b4 is the black grid version of the ch4 shuttle pen there's also a pen called the g4 that's the gold grid version of the ch4 shuttle pen so you could buy a ch4 these days for like maybe I don't know, 35, 40 bucks, something like that. It's a pretty nice, it's a great pen. It's a pretty good deal. It's not that cheap, uh, but it has a lifetime warranty. It's beautifully made. It's a little bit small, which is my main grievance with it, but it's a beautiful pen. If you want to kind of blow it out a little bit and move that $35 up to like $45, $50, then you could get this, the B4. And again, it's usually called the grid pen or the Fisher grid or something like that but it has this engraved uh, grid, maybe it's etched, I'm not really sure, uh, grid on the pen. It's the same pen as a CH4, so it's straight, no taper, so it's not like the AG7, it's a little bit smaller. The click has the side release, like the AG7. The release mechanism isn't quite as nice. It lasts really well, but it doesn't have as smooth and as clean a click action as the AG7. That one is really uh, something special, but it's still really, quite nice and it uses a standard Fisher PR4 refill so that's standard pressurized refill that everyone likes that writes underwater and upside down and all that and then obviously the main difference is the black grid or the gold grid depending on if you get the B4 or the CH4 uh, B4 or the G4 rather the uh, C the G4 I just don't like how the gold looks as much the black grid I think looks really slick 
Uh, it really classes up the pen. I mean, it's already a classy pen, but it really classes it up and adds a little bit of extra grip. Some of these pens can be a little, you know, the space pens can be a little bit slippery because they are so skinny. The B4 adds a bit of grip. And again, the refill on this one is the standard Fisher. It's called the PR4 is the refill. And this is the Fisher Space Pen, the B4. That refill lasts basically forever and it will write upside down in up to 200 degree heat, negative 35 degree Fahrenheit. It's a pretty solid refill and in a great pen. Last upgrade pen, and this one's not currently for sale, but I figured it'd be worth talking about just because I know how many people out there love the Rotrings. This is called a Rotring Newton, and it's in the lava finish. So basically, you can go out right now, you can buy a Rotring 600 ballpoint. I know many of you have. It's a great pen. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that the old Rotring 600s, the OG versions, are really upgrades based on the new one. It's like pretty much the same pen. But the upgrade for me, in my eyes, is this finish. This is called the Lava Finish. The Rotring 600 came in black and silver. After that came a pen called the Rotring Newton. That's what you see in front of you. It's essentially the same pen as, or in many ways it's the same pen as the Rotring 600. It moves uh, from a knurled grip to a round grip, and it loses the, uh, the color indicator up here. But past that, it's essentially the same pen, same brass body, same hexagonal body. Uh, cone, the cone up front is pretty similar. The click mechanism is essentially the same. It's slightly changed, but it's essentially the same. Same clip. The, uh, one of the things that Newton introduced is this lava finish. And at the time, and this is like a long time ago, we're talking the late 90s, I never really was impressed with the lava finish. It kind of seemed, uh, I don't know, just like not very impressive. Maybe just, uh, I don't know, just like a little uh, kind of gimmicky maybe. And I always opted for the black. I had a couple of the silvers, but really just the black. Uh, then in the past couple of years, maybe the past 10 years or so, the demand for the lava has really exploded and uh, they've gotten a lot more expensive. The Lava, I would say, technically is an upgrade. It's not just more expensive because it adds some grip. Obviously, it does look very cool. And it, it holds up surprisingly well. It's not like the Lava flakes off or chips off or anything like that. It's not a paint. It's a, like it's actually a finish on the brass. It's not just, uh, you know, spackled on there or something like that. It's actually, I believe it's the way the brass is, uh, is treated. Anyway, it holds up really well. It's really, it looks great. Uh, you know, it's like some sort of coating, but it holds on really well. The way a powder coat doesn't really flake off. It's, it's a kind of uh, becomes part of the brass. So that's the Rotring Newton. And you'll know it's a Newton because, again, the main thing to look for is that it has a round grip, not a knurled grip. So round and smooth, not knurled, which would be like those uh, hashed lines on it. Uh, they both have round grips, but the Newton's is not knurled. Uh, that's like particularly not an issue for the lava version because the, uh, the lava finish sort of takes the place of the knurling. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. Of course, the knurling on the original 600s could be a little bit rough, or if you're buying it used, the knurling could be a little bit gross. It gets kind of filled with gunk and then uh, it can get a little worn out over time. Inside the pen, you see it is a uh, not lava finish. Quite nice, kind of a uh, standard refill in here. I put a Rotring Jumbo. This is kind of the, the standard Rotring refill in here. And uh, the important thing is not that it's a Rotring refill, it's just that it could accommodate a standard Parker G2 style refill, which is really nice. So last upgrade pen is something called the Rotring Newton, and uh, the Newton is a great pen, but not an upgrade on the 600. The 600 is the original and probably the better pen, but the Newton with the lava finish, and now you're looking at something 
really special. Again, these are collector's edition and the prices have not only not dropped, if anything, they've increased as Rotring has gone ahead, gone ahead and released new versions of the 600 and 800 pens because in the 2018, 2019 versions, even the new 2020 pens, Rotring has released originally only black and silver. And then this year in 2020, they came out with uh, blue, green, and red, but they've yet to release anything in uh, the lava finish. So it's really sort of maintained its, uh, its desirability with collectors. So that is just a brief look at the world of upgrade pens. Again, if you like a pen, I would definitely recommend doing some research because when the companies discover a good formula, they tend to tweak it. And that's why executive pens exist. That's why upgrade pens like this exist, although they're very rarely explicitly called upgrade pens. So again, Rotary Newton, Lava Finish, the Pilot High Tech Point V7. Again, look for the High Tech Point, not the Precise. And then this very cool Fisher Space Pen B4. Thanks for watching.